The Trump campaign held a press conference to challenge the election results at Four Seasons Total Landscaping in Northeast Philadelphia. Some people suspect the campaign intended to reserve the Four Seasons Hotel, but accidentally booked this landscaping company, located between a crematorium and a sex toy store. Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, was speaking when he was told the election had been called for Biden. Who was it called by? All the, oh my goodness, all the networks. Wow. All the networks. <laughs> no, guys, come on. How is this real? Like, how is this real? How are you going to hold a press conference at a landscaping warehouse between a crematorium and a sex toy store? I mean, as a general rule, if you're ever out declaring war, you don't want to do it 20 feet from a dildo. Although, I mean, in some ways it makes sense. Because if you ask people what's halfway between a pawn shop and a crematorium, they'd probably say Rudy Giuliani. And by the way, I have a feeling that Rudy Giuliani uses that sarcastic response a lot. I'm sorry, who wants me to put my clothes back on? Everyone. Oh, wow. Everyone. Every single person in this Denny's wants me to put my clothes back on. Now, the campaign says that they did mean to have the press conference at this venue. And I hope that that's true. But it really just sounds like Trump's legal team accidentally booked the wrong Four Seasons. And if that is the case, that would be so sad. I mean, do you know how incompetent you gotta be to get catfished by a landscaping business? Also, I love how the real Four Seasons tweeted that it has nothing to do with them because even hotel chains are trying to get away from Trump now. I bet Motel 6 was like, get out of here, you scumbags, you're grossing out our bed bugs. I also feel really bad for anyone who was inside that sex shop during that press conference because imagine being in a sex shop and then seeing every camera in America pulling up next door. Now you gotta hide out in a dildo store for six hours. And that's a long time to pretend to be browsing. Yeah, so is this the edible underwear? Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's, is it gluten-free? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, they're still outside. Okay, do, do you do samples? So even though most of the world has accepted that Joe Biden will be the next president, Donald Trump is clearly planning to drag out this fight for weeks. Donald Joe Biden beat my ass Trump. None of his legal efforts to undo the election have been working. So now he's trying a different approach. But on the other hand, what might save America from Donald Trump trying to overthrow the government is that it's Donald Trump trying to overthrow the government because his people are not known for being that great at what they do. I mean, just today, Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal lawyer and something kids fear is in the closet, gave a press conference to explain why Donald Trump actually won the election, right? That's what he was doing. He was trying to explain to us why Donald Trump actually won the election that we all saw him lose, but we couldn't pay attention to this conspiracy theory because we were all distracted by this. Many of the absentee ballots were fraudulent and they knew that and they didn't want to have a count of that. 200% of the registered voters in a district vote. What does that mean? In the states that we have indicated in red, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, and Arizona, we more than double the number of votes needed to overturn the election. All you gotta do to find out if I'm misleading you at all is to look at the lawsuits. That's the reason why he probably didn't have to go out and campaign. Okay. I know that this could be the end of American democracy, but guys, this shit is hilarious. I mean, Trump always said that he had leakers in his administration, but I didn't know it was this bad. What the hell was going on with Rudy? Honest question, was was his hair dye dripping? Was his brain shitting itself? Honestly, I didn't even know that sideburns got periods. You know your legal strategy is f***ed up when even your hair starts crying about it. It was going down both his cheeks. This dude was growing a chin strap beard in real time. And look, I'm not gonna lie, part of me feels bad for Rudy (laughs) because this was the biggest press conference of his life, his big chance to get Donald Trump another term as president and his hair ruined the entire moment. Can you imagine if Abraham Lincoln was reading the Emancipation Proclamation and his beard just walked away? People would have been like, hey, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, man, forget about the slaves, man. Yo, yo, your chin hair just bounced, B. Yeah, you got, you got to look at that shit. But maybe this is the perfect combination of evil and ridiculous 
to end the Trump era. I think it's perfect. Because think about it. If someone said in 2016 that this whole thing would end with Rudy Giuliani openly plotting a coup against the government, but no one would take him seriously because he had hair dye running down his face the entire time, you'd be like, yeah, you know what? It sounds about right. Rudy Giuliani, former aide to Donald Trump and lawyer who makes all his clients look innocent in comparison. <laughs> Since his role in the attempt to overthrow the 2020 election, Giuliani has largely disappeared from public view, like a snail retreating into its shell, <laughs> but way more disgusting. <laughs> and if there's one thing America loves, it's a big comeback. And last night, Rudy got his. A little bit of controversy on The mass Singer last night. Personal lawyer to former President Donald Trump and former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani popped out of a giant rooster suit while singing a rendition of Bad to the Bone. She could tell the right away that I was bad to the bone. But as he revealed himself, this is what happened. Judge Ken Jeong stormed off the stage, apparently didn't like it, saying I'm done. Yeah, Rudy Giuliani just got voted off The Masked Singer which means he's about to spend the next five years claiming that he actually won the mask signal. <laughs> and I guess history, history was made last night because for the first time in the mask singer's history, a contestant took off their mask and everyone was like, no, no, put it back on, put it back on. <laughs> put it on, we don't want to get, put it back on. It's also weird how Rudy has the time to be on a game show, but he's too busy to testify in front of Congress. Like, maybe they should have just tricked him, right? Congress should have just, like, made it seem like it was the Masked Singer, combined the whole thing, <laughs> pop him in the giant costume, and then sit him in front of the January 6th committee. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, that's the game show America needs. Bernie Sanders would be sitting there like, oh, based on his utter disregard for democracy, I'm gonna guess the rooster is Rudy Giuliani. Let's take off the mask <laughs> and see. See who we're about to indict. It was him. I told you it was him. I could see the, the melting through the mask. I could see it. Trump's inner circle was well aware that the election did not go their way. And they told Trump, except for one person who had the liquid courage to say that Trump did win. President Trump rejected the advice of his campaign experts on election night and instead followed the course recommended by an apparently inebriated Rudy Giuliani to just claim he won and insist that the vote counting stop. Was there anyone in that conversation who, in your observation, had had, had too much to drink? Uh, like Mayor Giuliani? In the mirror was definitely intoxicated. Yeah, according to this former Trump aide, Rudy Giuliani was wasted on election night when he told Trump that the election was stolen from him. And, and, I'm just curious about how you even know when Rudy Giuliani is drunk. <laughs> no, because when a normal person is drunk, they say crazy things, they yell, they sweat a lot. So how does that work with Rudy? Does it work in reverse? Like, does he start talking normally? His hair dye sucks back into his hair? How does this work? <laughs> and you know, it actually says a lot about Trump that a whole team of sober advisors, his attorney general, his campaign manager, his, his daughter, who he wants to bang. Yeah, we haven't forgotten. <laughs> They were all telling him, you lost this election, sir. But then Trump was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Drunk vampire, what do you think? <laughs> you know, when you think about it, it actually makes sense that Trump would listen to a drunk person because that's the one time people probably sound like him, you know? <laughs> He's just like, what do you guys think we should do? And he's just like, I'll tell you what I think we should do. <laughs> wow, there's something about this guy. He totally gets it. You'll get it. I I get it, you get it, you get it. All right, you know, there are a lot of depressing things going on in America right now. So we decided let's start off today's show with some good news. And I'm talking about what happened to Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Former New York City mayor and America's most illegal lawyer. You see, <laughs> he was in a supermarket on Staten Island Sunday, campaigning for his son, Andrew Giuliani, who's trying to make history as New York's first caveman governor. <laughs> and thankfully, Rudy is now doing okay after just barely surviving a heinous <laughs> drive-by on his upper back. 
A Staten Island grocery store worker is facing assault charges accused of slapping former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. This surveillance video shows the encounter inside a ShopRite store. The worker appears to hit Giuliani on the back, prompting a reaction from the former mayor. NYPD has said that this man was a 39-year-old suspect who approached Giuliani, slapped him in the back, and said, what's up, scumbag? <laughs> Giuliani refused medical attention at the scene. And the 39-year-old was taken into custody with the NYPD recommending charges of second-degree assault. Don't you laugh! Don't you dare laugh! <laughs> this is second-degree assault! That's how tough New York's laws are. Third-degree is if you lightly blow on someone's ear. <laughs> and first-degree is if you boop them on the nose. Boop! Ah! Ah! I've been hit! I've been hit! <laughs> Please, and please don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I don't think it is right for anyone to be putting their hands on politicians or anyone for that matter without their consent, right? I'm not saying that. But no way in hell is that second degree assault. <laughs> Look, I barely tell, that's not second degree. If that's assault, then what? I guess Will Smith murdered Chris Rock. That's what happened there. <laughs> and now I'm in the grave, in the grave. <laughs> and, and I love how, I love how they say, Rudy declined medical attention. Medical attention for what? <laughs> for what? That's the kind of injury where the only thing you could do is kiss it and make it feel better. That's it. <laughs> is it better, Rudy? <laughs> is it better? In fact, if anyone needs medical attention here, it's the guy who touched Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> yeah, that dude's hand probably looks like Dumbledore's after he barehanded a Horcrux. <laughs> and yes, I will admit, I will admit, this guy did sound aggressive, but... You've got to understand, what's up, scumbag, is just how people say hello on Staten Island, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a normal conversation. What's up, scumbag? Nothing much, f your mother. All right, well, <laughs> nice to see you, grandma. <laughs> but to me, to me, the best part of this story is that the more Rudy told it, the more the slap seemed to hurt. He hit me hard enough to knock me forward about like this. <laughs> You know elderly people die mostly from falls? This guy could have killed me. I got hit on the back as if a boulder hit me. Uh, it knocked me forward a step or two. All of a sudden, I feel a shot on my back. Like somebody shot me. You know, that, that, was, that was the woman who was rubbing my back. The guy hit me so hard that she herself almost fell from the reverberation of it. Yeah, that's right. He, he slapped me so hard, my eyeballs fell out, and I, I, I had to pick them up and put them back in. You all saw it. You saw... He, he slapped me so hard, I, I shit out the side of my face two years ago. Yeah, that's how hard it was. You saw it, everybody. I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> you know... I thought that Rudy was lying about the election being stolen because he was a Trump sycophant. It turns out he just lives in another world. This is just his brain. And I will say, in his defense, in his defense, he was already in a weakened state. You know, you have to acknowledge that. He was out during the day in a store that sells garlic. I mean, you know? <laughs> it was hard for him. It was hard.